APA stands for always protecting another, which also stands for this Elite Series 38 is getting another practical attack. Something. Uh, something. So you see, Farouk and Bradshaw, and the weird thing about the set, it says first time in the line for Bradshaw, but you know what? Farouk, why don't you take the back seat? Because I'm doing a comparison review for y'all right now. We getting JBL first time in the line versus Bradshaw. First time in the line, Elite Series 23 versus 38. So for those of you wanting some nostalgia, here is the rotation of the JBL Elite Series 23. I picked this figure up ages ago, and I was going to review it. It was featured in a couple videos, but I didn't review it. I don't know why, I was really stupid. So maybe this is a collector's item now, maybe it's expensive. I don't care, I'm a reviewer, I'm gonna open up and boom, all value is about to be lost. Which packaging do you like better? Do you like the new, slick, or do you like the old, colorful, crazy, wild? Look at that set. Doesn't that remind you of Elite 39? It does for me. If they ever put a Hunter Hearst Helmsley figure out, do you think they'd say first time in the line? That's up to you to let me know in the comment zone. And yes, let me know how disappointed you are that I am no longer doing a review of APA together. Because I saw in the comments that's what everyone wanted me to do, but I had this planned. This dude comes with a freaking table. Reminds me of my dinner table. Boom! Boom. So right before I do the 360, I'm going to say that this guy is way too loose. Everything about him feels really loose and fragile. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like this is going to break in a second or two. Let's check out the face, too. I think that this is interesting because it seems less detailed and more cartoony than some of the other figures that they've been putting out. But I definitely can see Bradshaw in it, although the paint work on his goatee isn't the greatest his beard whatever that's called i have no idea i'm not like a facial hair expert 360 time so personally here what i think is very interesting to note is that it feels like the jbl figure is way too thin i think the bradshaw perfectly gets his muscularity correct even though it is reusing the luke harper pants and just poorly doing it, kind of like uh, uh, the Hulk Hogan did and everything. I feel like the JBL figure is a bit lacking. It's nice to see the coat. The coat buffs him up a bit more than he is, but his legs are too thin. And face scan, I think, is quite good on both of them. I'm really pleased, but I, for some reason, the Bradshaw just really feels like a Jax. I don't... Maybe it's because it's loose, maybe because the head is a bit large, maybe it's because the whole body is large. I don't know, the JBL really feels like a Mattel, while Bradshaw feels like a Jax. There's nice detailing, like painting on the gloves, the nice print on the shirt, and what not. It says things some people are upset about what it says, I think it's fine. It's kind of just like a glorified t-shirt series made into an Elite, but it's pretty good. And they're making some sleeveless variants, apparently. Are any of you gonna pick those up? Now here is JBL. I personally feel like this is a much better figure, even though, for me, he's too thin. Comes with a nice jacket, you take it off. You see he comes with a scarf, which is, seems quite like the Alberto Del Rio scarf. Might be the same, might be not the same, I don't know. And I was afraid of seeing some staining from the sweater, but there isn't none. The sweatshirt, there isn't any. That's cool. Pants say JBL, tights say JBL and looks nice. Overall, just complete black attire, pretty good. Face without the hat is good. Could see a little darkening of the hair. I think it might be a bit too light, but I really think this face scan works. At first, when I saw the figure, I thought it was just like a Ken, non-descriptive guy. But as I'm looking at it out of the packaging, I can really see JBL in that. And then when you compare them, you can kind of understand what I mean about how 
cartoony Mattel figures have been becoming. And a lot of people are talking about how Mattel is starting to become, a, get a jacksification in a sense, and becoming more like Jax. And I feel like doing a comparison like this really shows that's going on and, and really what's going behind the scenes in Mattel as they're just cutting costs because the sculpt on this is so nice and it, it's very clean and you can see that there's work that's not painted where this one is a bit smoother and not as much detail. It's interesting and I wonder if we'll get another figure of this dude. Height-wise, apparently Bradshaw is shorter than JBL. Personally, I think the JBL is a better figure than the Bradshaw, even though they're kind of different characters and whatnot, and I'd like to see someone use a JBL if they have like five extras sitting around and try to make a Bradshaw out of it, because I bet they get much better results than what Mattel gave us, because check this out, yo. That's bogus. Goodness sakes. What's going on, Mattel? I'm angry. Let me know in the comments what you think of this, because uh, I give you my opinion. It's an R. Oh, the accessories! Oh my gosh! Comes with a table. This is apparently a brand new sculpt that breaks in two, which is pretty cool. You can eat dinner and stuff on it. Nice stuff. Oh, going through the kitchen table. It also has a chair that says APA protection on the back of it, so you can sit down and be protected by APA. Great stuff. You see this video here, I'd recommend you click on it because I think you will enjoy it just as much as that other video you just completed. And also while you're here, if you haven't followed me on my social media platform, I'd suggest you do. It's a fun time. Hopefully. I have fun. I think you will too.